and how to be a Christian without being religious. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dream on. Everybody knows. Everybody understands. Everybody has a completely perfect definition of what a Christian is. Don't we? <laughs> hmm. I think we might need a little bit of help on defining what a Christian is so that we can understand how to be a Christian without being religious. having a clue. <laughs> Do you? Oh boy. Is there a way to be a Christian without being religious? Is there some kind of surgical tool that will help us cut through the facade that leaves many of us feeling deep within that Christianity is really more about being good and if I'm not good I haven't met the grade and if I haven't met the grade then I'm feeling frustrated, guilty, and really not very happy with myself or my faith. Okay. The sin that I would not that which I do, which I would not do, would have run away from the fall, you said. In other words, when you feel like you're not a Christian, what do you do about it? When you feel because you have feelings that you just don't measure up to being a Christian, what do you do about it? When you feel like that there's something more that's lacking somehow, and it's not the Holy Spirit, that you just can't seem to get it right, and you seem to be left out every time they talk about being right, you don't feel like it, maybe there's something more that's going on. Maybe there is a way to get this kind of like Christian thing down without being too religious. Yes, there is such a tool. It is in a single book of the New Testament. The newer part of the Bible, the part of the Bible that's, you know, kind of like in the forefront. Or you could say the back front. Or you could say the little front. Because if you got a little New Testament, well, anyways, you get it. Got it? Good. In... 16 brief chapters, the great Apostle Paul shows us that Christianity is far more, far more, far more than a religion. See, how do they do that? It is <laughs> something more than what you think it is. He tells us in Romans who you really are. He tells us in Romans why you are living the way you're living. As a matter of fact, he tells us in religion in Romans how to get the most out of life. In short, in the following chapters in this book, as well as what it's based upon, which is the book of Romans, sneaky, isn't he? that we find that there is something more to Christianity than the religion of it, or those that seek to do good, to be good, to think good, because they want to be, because they think they are, because they have to be, because they feel bad. So, since they feel bad, are they good? There's more to being religious than meets the eye. Because religion will always strive to make something. And Christianity will always allow you to be something. So let's go forward today, recognizing that, yes, it's possible to be religious 
without being a Christian, and it's possible to be a Christian without being religious, and that as we go through Romans, and this book, that we're going to find how, why, what, where, and who, as it applies to us. So today, what do you think? What do you think? Can you yourself learn to be? Can you yourself discover how to be? Could you maybe practice being a Christian without being religious? Give it a shot. And then each day as we look at this, let's see how you measure up to it by your standards.